Hi guys, thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this session, we will learn about SAP Business One Banking. We will understand how handling payments is done in SAP Business One. We will understand about the incoming payments, outgoing payments, deposits, and the payment wizard. We will see the effect of each step on the involved GL accounts. We will understand the payment scenario as per customer needs and the localization variation. Let us start with handling the incoming payments. First let us look at the typical manual process that the customer pays in the payment process. The customer pay their debts that is open AR invoice according to agreed payment terms that can be cash basic installments or net 30 and that can be dependent upon your business. In our business example, Bob, the accountant, deals with incoming payments every day. He views the company bank account online to see the amount of bank transfer incoming payments received from the customer. In SAP Business One, he checks the credit card to know the amount of credit card incoming payments issued in the store point of sale and in the customer service center throughout the day. Then he enters a credit card deposit in SAP Business One to record the payments Visa or MasterCard transferred to the company bank account. You have to note this thing that in this business example we are focusing only on the manual payment process. We have to remember that you have the payment wizard and bank statements processing options that enable you to create incoming and outgoing payments automatically and semi-automatically depending on the localization. So there is incoming payment, deposits and account. We will learn about incoming payments. Payment means structure of these payment, deposits, outgoing payments, purchasing payment and process of payment wizard. Let us start with incoming payments. Incoming payment methods. There are four payment means option for incoming payments. We will first look at three payment means that typically have two step process that is cash, check and credit card. Regardless of payment means when you issue a full incoming payment the open invoice on the customer account is closed. Cash, check and credit card payments are posted to a clearing or temporary account. We have to note this thing that clearing is used in the US localization. In other localization the term could be temporary account or suspense account. The clearing accounts must be defined during the setup. In the example shown we see an incoming payment on the left for $105 that generates the following automatic journal entry. Debit to clearing account cash on hand, credit card, checks received, credit to customer account, external tools like point of sale system and authorization of credit card transaction can be integrated into standard process as well. The system retrieves the cash and checks received account from GL account determination window. The credit card account is received from GL account field in the credit card definition window. Under the banking step you find administration module. On the right we see the second posting from the deposit document used to transfer funds from clear account to house bank account and clearing the clear account. Next is bank transfer payment means. Another option for payment means is a bank transfer. When a customer pays using bank payment means the transaction does not involve a clearing account. The customer transfers the payment directly to your house bank. Here we see debit to house bank account and credit to the customer account. Let us understand the document structure as well. The first part is the document header. Second part, the middle part is where you find your open invoices, credit memo and JEs and the third part, the bottommost part is your total and the remarks and other things. 
The window for incoming and outgoing payments are almost identical. The window is divided into following parts. The document header on the top, the area for selecting open invoices, credit memos, journal entries and assignment, the payment that is in middle and the area for entering remarks where you can see general remarks, control account and other things as well. Determining the payment amount. In the middle areas, we selected open transaction for payment from table by using the checkbox in the selected column. The system offers you tools to quickly identify the nature of the document displayed and to aid in your selection. There is an asterisk mark that is highlighted here after the invoice date indicates that the invoice is currently due. That is the invoice due date is earlier than or equal to the current date. The cash discount percentage displays the rate of cash discount defined for business partner. That depends on the incoming payment date and invoice date. You can change it if it is required. The total payment column displays the amount that is outstanding and that is pertaining to an invoice. The system process the balance due as the amount to be paid. You can change this amount if the payment is only for the part of the invoice amount. The document column tells you the origin of each line. For example, IN stands for invoice. CN stands for credit memo, JE stands for journal entry. You can also use form settings and then choose to display the BP reference number that is your business partner reference number indicator in the table. This allows you to base the payment on the vendor's invoice number rather than your own internal document number. When you issue an outgoing payment, you can choose whether to have the system display all the transactions in the table or to restrict the display to invoice and credit memo. The setting to display all the transactions by default is found in the document settings for incoming and outgoing payment. You can choose whether to have the system display all these things or not. For example, payment in advance, choose the payment on account option in the presented example. The total amount due includes the payment on account and the total payment amount of the open transaction of this table. Specifying the payment means how much is the payment amount? If required, you can split the amount in different payment means. You can have bank transfer, credit card, cash, check. After you determine the payment amount, you must specify the payment means. You can select one of the following payment means check, bank transfer, credit card, or cash. In some countries, you can also use the bill of exchange as a payment mean. Choose payment mean icon in the toolbar and open the payment means window. In most cases, the payer pays the amount in full using one means of the payment. However, it is possible to split the amount among several means of payment. The system takes the detail on the means of payment for incoming payment from the customer master record. When you post a payment, the system records the payment with the selected invoice and closes the transaction. If the payment was posted as payment on account, the invoices and the payments stay open. If a partial payment was made, the system adjusts the balance due appropriately. Next is deposit of cash and check. If you take cash from your cash register or check from your check drawer, and bring them to your bank, you can use the deposit transaction to post this transfer. In the graphic, we see the process for cash payments. In the incoming payment, the credits, the customer accounts, and debits the cash on hand account when the deposit is made. The cash deposit is credited and the bank account is debited. A deposit of check is similar. The incoming payment credits the customer account and debits the check received amount. When the deposit is made, the check received account is credited and the bank account is debited. What about the cancellations of payment? There can be reason for cancellation. In SAP Business One, you have various supports for the scenario of cancelling the payment. For example, in case you enter a wrong payment for deposit, in situations where a payment is cancelled, 
or in case you need to cancel a payment or deposit after the check related to a payment was already deposited. This is our sales quotation. Here there is no general entry effect. This is our sales order. Again no general entry effect but the payment means is active now. Here is our delivery. When you post this delivery, general entry effect is there and you can even preview it. This is the general entry preview. This is our AR invoice and you can see the payment means, transaction general and general entry preview. This is our payment means. Payment means can be check, bank transfer, credit card or cash. Here I have taken cash. This is our JE posting. 